Hello and welcome. I get asked a lot how I make custom courtiers. So we're going to go through a worked example today with one of the ones that I'm currently making for my role playing series. So we are going to go to single player, custom game setup, and now we have to pick just any person. It really doesn't matter. Let's say we pick um, King Haran here and then we go to the ruler designer. Now, obviously you need the ruler designer DLC to follow this through exactly as I'm doing it. You can do it without the Ruler Designer DLC, but it's a little bit more complicated and there are um, it's, it's not as easy to change the appearance. Now, you can follow the end of this uh, tutorial without the Ruler Designer DLC, but that's just my little bit of a warning that it's a little bit more complicated. And I'm not going to go into that because it's going to be a, it would be a much longer video. Anyway, uh, this person wants his person to be from Ashai. The, the uh, creator of the character wants him to be from a shy. We will find a shy. We created it. Quite like the look that it gave us as default, so we'll stick with that. We're going to change our coat of arms. Let's uh, change it to something like. Um, let's go for this. Change the colors up a little bit. How about white and maybe red at the top? Or how about white and black? That's all right. That's not too bad. And then we have to change all of this. He wants his name to be Robo. Uh, Tronius, and he wants his cult. Well, I assume he would want his culture to also be from Ashai, and the religion would be Shadowbinders. Now, you know, see if we go back to coat of arms, that switched. That's because uh, there are different coat of arms sets for different religions and cultures and things like that. So we're just going to go switch it back to what it was, and uh, that was just a little bit of a warning there that you do you. If you're having problems with it, that might be where your problems were coming from. So white and black, we'll go with that. Cool. Wants him to be a warrior. We'll give him dutiful commander. And then we get on to traits. Now, this is I'm going to show the reason I don't use paradox traits in my uh, role-playing series. So that I don't use the traits that we've got right down here. And the reason basically is they're a little bit restrictive. So say we want a quick and attractive person. There we go. Quick and attractive. Age 51, you're not allowed to create them. Now, you could add in a whole bunch of negative traits here and you try and balance it, but in the end, you're going to just be ending up gaming the system anyway. So, that's the reason I use my own, uh, like, thing for us, uh, for courtiers that are submitted. Not really important here, but um, it is uh, useful to note. So, we'll finish our King Robo of the Iron Isles. There we go. Make him. And then it will do all the game loading. Get rid of all of these pop-up messages, and now we have King Robo. So, we will need to add him some traits. He wants to be lustful, so we'll add in... Uh, so, I'll go through this a little bit slower. Press tilde on the keyboard, it opens your console. Then you type in add underscore trait space, and then you just type in the trait and name. I'll have to show you where to find this a little bit later. And then we're going to add in his second one. He wants to be a uh, warrior, so let's give him something like trained um, warrior. Which actually gives him the trained fighter trait. And that's our character made. This is what he wants the character to be. And we're just going to go and uh, quickly save him. So we'll save this character. We'll save him as Robotronus. Uh, Tronius. So Robotronius. There we go. And that's our character made. Now, you may notice... He's in the wrong save file. This is not where we want him to be. We want him to be in the save file for the RP series. So we're going to have to do a little bit of save file manipulation. Okay, the next step in creating our character is we have to go to Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 2, Game of Thrones, Save Games. Uh, obviously, if you're doing a character that is not in the Game of Thrones uh, like mods, you would just go to Save Games down here. Same concept. So, Game of Thrones, Thrones save uh, game, and we will get the two things we need. This is my main save file, and this is Robotronius' save file. And we'll edit them both with Notepad++. Normal Notepad's fine, but it's uh, formatted a little bit weirdly. This is just a little bit easier to read once you open it. Um, and we are going to find Mr. Robotronius. So, we go up here, it should have player, it has the ID for the player, and we will then search... Put a little equals at the end of it, and it should lead you straight to Robo. Right, and we're going to get all of his character here. And we're going to grab that. We're going to quickly copy. And we're going to create a new file, and we're going to paste them in. So this is Robo. 
First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to strip them of anything that isn't necessary. So all the chronicle entries, not necessary. They don't apply. Um, his host applies. Ledger doesn't really matter. Uh, host and employer matter. Wealth, it doesn't really matter. You can delete it or not delete it. Get rid of the leash levies. We can get rid of all of this. All of these things aren't needed. He's obviously not a player, so we don't need that. Council status doesn't need that. We'll get rid of all of that. Doesn't have a designated heir and does not have a government type. Doesn't need any of that. So this is Robo. This is very basic Robo. Uh, not going to save that. Um, so what are we going to do about him? Well, here's what's wrong with him currently. Obviously, birth date is wrong. His traits and attributes are correct. His dynasty is correct, but we don't have it in the other save file yet. His DNA and his properties are how he looks and all of that stuff. That's correct. His fertility um, modifier, correct. Health and prestige are... Well, I mean, we could edit them as we want. Doesn't really matter. Piety we, and wealth, we could edit as we want. I just tend to leave them as default. His employer and his host, though, we do need to change. And in Ledger, we don't do anything with. So, first things first. We need to get his dynasty. So, let's go find his dynasty. So... Um, we get we go and search for it in the Robotronius one put a little equals and then you'll be able to find it easily because it'll be the if we go count it will say this is the only match so there's Robotronius it's got its culture it's got its religion perfect grab that and then we go back to this file and then we'll just paste it in why am I putting it all in a separate file? Well, it's just so that we can see what we've got and so that we uh, don't need to keep going back to Robotronius' base file. It's basically so we have a backup. So, next thing we do. We see the dynasty is correct. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change his employer and his host. So, his employer will be the ID of the player in the save file you want to move him to. Assuming that you want to move him to the player's court. If you want to move him to a different court, it'll be whoever the liege in that court is. So we'll quickly copy and then we'll just go and add him to these uh, things here. Right. Now, I said the age is wrong. Well, I've got the date here. It's uh, 8075 is the date that we've got. And Robo, if I quickly bring up on my other screen the comment... He wants to be 22, so that would have to be, um, I'll do math live, 8053. So we'll quickly switch that to 8053. There's Robo. He's all set up. I keep trying to save because it's just natural whenever I do a change in these things. Anyway, um, so what are we going to do next? We have him created. We have the employer. We have the host. Everything seems fine, right? Not quite right. There is a problem, and the problem is, basically... Um, this kind of ID tag might already be taken in the new save. So let's go and have a look. So if we uh, we have searched for it, let's count how many we've got. Zero matches. We were lucky. That ID tag hadn't been taken. If it had been taken, all we need to do is change a few numbers, then check if it's in the file, then change it to a few numbers, check if it's in the file, make sure the, the number's the same length. It's all all right. Uh, but it seems fine. Number's not taken. We can use it. Next thing that we do is we check the dynasty. So, is the dynasty number taken? Let's have a look. There are The dynasty number is taken. Two matches, which means that it is matched with the person. And it is matched with the dynasty. So, so it, there is one person with that dynasty. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to change the numbers. So, let's change the like, last two numbers to one. So, double ones. Count. There are zero matches. This says new dynasty is fine. So we just copy it, stick it in here. So instead of this number, we stick that number in and then we change the dynasty on Robo himself. Cool. Characters all made. Nothing's wrong with them. Seems all right. So we will add them into the game. So copy that and then we will add them. So we need to go find out where the dynasties are. So there we go, find some other dynasties. Paste the dynasty in here and save that. And then on this one, we want to grab the character. And then I like to put them in next to the character whose core I'm putting them in. So I'll copy that, then search for it, and then just paste them in on top. Cool. There's Robotronius. He's all made. Now, there is a problem. The main problem with this character as he is now 
is that there is a bug. Well, it's not really a bug. It's just a they never intended characters to be added in this way. So a character has a chance to die if it doesn't have a father in the game. So what we need to do is we need to go and find Robo a father. So we're going to jump back to the game. We're going to load up the save. Uh, there we go. Load it up. There we go. There's our save. And if we have a look in our character list, we will find all the way down here. Robotronus. He's 22. He is a lustful trained fighter. He's perfectly fine. No father. So we're going to go all the way over to a shy. And we're, we're just going to pick a random person in a shy who's about the right age. So there we go. We got you. Um, let's have a look in your court. Or, or like your, not your what? Your court. Your uh, dynasty tree is what I was going to look for. And um, we'll find somebody who's about the right age. There we go. 44. He could have children. Seems about right. He doesn't have anything else going on with them. Uh, he would be 22 when he had Robotronius as a child. Seems about right. Cool. Then we open up the console. Type in char info. That allows you to see all the stuff about the characters, including their ID number. Then what we do is we have a look at the ID number and we just uh, type in under Robo here. I'm actually going to do it in here because if in Notepad it, it lags a little bit if you do it in the main file. Uh, but under his birth date, we're going to stick in father equals, and then we're going to stick in the number. So it's 211. Uh, I'm going to need to switch back and forth a little bit here. 2110010. So 0010. And then back to him again. And 397. 397. So this is his character now, actually, where he should be. Grab him. We'll replace the old character with him. And then, once we reload the save, which we'll do right now, and quickly resign the game. Right, and there, if we go under our court and go to Robo, we will see Robotronius is made. He has one sibling because he has a father, and that's how it works out the family tree. And that's alright. He's done. He's all fine. Now, say you wanted Robo to have a child, like this person does. How would you do this? Well, what I do is I create another character, and then I stick in Robo as the father in the father slot and then if they want the child to have siblings like say you want this child to have a sister or something like that what you do is you create the sister and you add robo in as the father and they are automatically you know brother and sister if you want them to be half brother and sister you add in different mothers you know that sort of thing you just keep uh, you can add as much detail as you want by doing that kind of stuff um, I think we've gone over every th major thing that we need to go over in creating a character and that's pretty much what you do. Right, there is one thing I did promise that I would show you that I have not yet shown you. It is in the mod folder right here. If you go to Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 2, Mod, Game of Thrones Mod, Common. You will now see all of this and then you get down to Traits. This shows you basically what all the traits are called for the console commands. So like here we got Dothraki, Dosh Kalin. If you are not using a uh, mod and they don't have like a trait list in it or anything, what you can do is if you're just using vanilla CK2, you can go to like the search Google for CK2 trait list. There is a wiki and it has all of the internal trait names and it's really quite useful and I use it quite a lot. So, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.